everyone welcome back to my channel so today I'm going to be talking all about my hand tattoo and just kind of frequently asked questions that I'm going to get or have gotten already and you know just talk about pain levels why I got it things like that so as you all know this is my newest tattoo or also known as tattoo number 12 and it is this little black cross on my hand um, I do have a video of me getting it done if you're interested in seeing that video you can go ahead and check the description box down below um, you can watch me get it and things like that so this video is just going to be me talking about it so the video that of me getting it was just me getting it tattooed on my hand this video is just going to be an in-depth talking about why I got it because a lot of people are gonna ask because it is very controversial it is a cross so a lot of people are going to be asking a lot of questions like that a couple of things I want to get out of the way if there's anyone out there who is you know has their a very different religion or someone who is very against crosses please leave now don't even bother leaving a comment I don't want to put up with your bullshit I don't want you to shove your religion down my throat it's not gonna happen if you have anything negative to say or you don't like this tattoo because it is a cross please leave you don't have to watch this video it is not required that you watch my videos so if you don't want to know about it don't watch it I don't want to hear your religion I don't I just don't I don't care so please don't even bother leaving a comment just watch it if you want to don't if you don't it is about four days old now I got it on Mother's Day I know kind of weird but I got it on Mother's Day and it is starting to get into that really disgusting gross looking peeling stage if you've ever had a tattoo you know exactly what stage I'm talking about where it's still kind of tender and peeling at the same time so I'm kind of still going through that so that's what it looks like I got it on my right hand no specific reason I just wanted it on my right hand as you can tell a lot of my stuff is on my right hand I don't arm I don't know I just always choose my right side for piercings and tattoos like this arm is like completely empty except for this little guy over here but yeah I don't know I always I just chose my right side so yeah I just got it on the side of my hand on the right side I know a lot of people say hand tattoos are probably the worst place that you could get a tattoo but quite frankly I don't give a shit because I don't even know what I want to do with my life yet so I'm just gonna have fun and get tattoos wherever the hell I feel like it and not even care what anyone thinks so yes it is on my hand one of the questions is where did you get it done and I actually got it done right outside in my dining room um, I know a lot of people are gonna be like ooh scratch your tattoo it looks like shit well you know what I don't really care um, I got it done by my boyfriend um, done in my dining room on my table um, just have my hand laid out and he just you know tattooed me um, he has tattooed me multiple times before he's tattooed me one two three four five times he's tattooed me five times so this was nothing new to us he has tattooed before um, he's not a professional tattoo artist so yes technically this does define a scratcher tattoo but I don't care I'll get into why I like that it's a scratcher tattoo in a minute but yeah so we did use all professional equipment all the equipment that we used was bought from my actual tattoo artist he does sell equipment so we got you know a rotary gun we did use a rotary gun which I absolutely love because it's like virtually dead silent almost I love that I love his tattoo machine um, and I can't remember the exact brand of the power box that we used I can't remember but we used a rotary gun and for two for the outline we used a three round liner and then for the shading we used a five round shader so I do have very very tiny hands because those are very very tiny needles but that is what we used to get this done the question is why did you get it um, the big reason why I got it simply is because I thought it was a cute tattoo I saw it on Demi Lovato and I was like I love that tattoo that's so cute I'm gonna get that on me one day and sure enough I did I am not a fan of Demi Lovato I've only heard two songs by her no, three. I've only heard three songs by her and those were only on the radio. I'm not like a Demi Lovato fan or anything like that. I don't listen to her music. I don't own any of her music. I just hear it on the radio quite often. So I know it's the Demi Lovato tattoo, but that's not why I got it. She's not like my idol or anything. I simply got it because I thought it would be a really cute, flattering tattoo. And sure enough, it is. I love this tattoo. It's really, really cute. I love it. Another reason why I got it is yes it is a cross so obviously there is a religion, religious belief behind it. Um, I don't like to call myself anything like I don't like to call myself a Christian or a Lutheran or all the other whatever you know whatever religions there are out there. I don't like to call myself one specific thing. The one thing I know about my this cross and myself personally is I do have faith but I don't necessarily 
you know, say I'm a Christian or say whatever. I mean, I guess technically I'm a Christian, but I don't like to call myself that. I just don't. I do have faith. I do believe in God. I believe in hell. You know, I believe in prayer. I believe in that. I'm not like an atheist. I'm not, you know, anything like that. If you are, that's totally fine. I'm not judging you, but please don't judge me. I do have faith. So I did want to get across. And that also kind of leads into as to why I wanted it to be a scratcher tattoo, AKA have my boyfriend do it instead of a professional tattoo artist. The reason why is because since it is a scratcher tattoo and he's not a professional, it's not going to be perfect. There are going to be a little bit of messed up lines. Like there's a messed up spot in the corner. You know, there's a spot down here. And I love it like that. I love that it's not perfect because if you think about it, God didn't make us perfect. So I didn't want this to be perfect. Do you know what I mean? Like it makes sense to me. I guess it probably won't make sense to you, but I love the fact that it's a scratcher tattoo and tattoo's not perfect and we're not perfect. That's just kind of how I got, how I put those two together. And that's why I want a chance to do it rather than go to a shop and get it done where the lines would be virtually perfect. The next question is pain. How bad did it hurt? Well, since it is on the hand, that is kind of a tender spot, especially this area because it is quite a fatty area. I was actually expecting it to hurt a lot more than it actually did. It really wasn't that bad. Um, it kind of felt like the wrist to me. It just, I don't know. It, I don't know. It just didn't, it just didn't really hurt. Maybe on a scale of one to 10, maybe like a four out of 10. It really wasn't that bad. The worst part of it was when he got to this part, like closer to the inner palm area. That's probably when it hurt the most. So for those of you who have palm tattoos, I applaud you. That was probably the most painful part, this part, and then this outer part when it got, you know, close to that one little bone there. But other than that, it was totally bearable. You know, I sat there throughout the whole thing. You know, we were talking the whole time. Yeah, it was totally fine. The pain was not as bad as I expected. The last question that I wanted to cover is what are you doing to take care of it? Well, after I got it done, as you guys saw in the video, he did put some A&D ointment on me, which is, you know, a lot of tattoo places use, some use H2Ocean Tattoo Goo, you know, whatever, but I personally like to use A&D on my tattoos, so we put a little bit on that, and, you know, just throughout the day, whenever it gets really dry, like right now it's getting kind of peely and crusty, I don't know if you can see just starting like right there it's starting to peel and get really gross um yeah i'm just i'll just put some a and d on it when it starts to look like that and you know just kind of keep it as moisturized as possible without over moisturizing it so yeah and i'm not picking at it you're not supposed to pick at a tattoo and you start to see it peel let it peel on its own just rub some a and d or whatever you use on it and it will it will fall off on its own but don't pick it because you could take ink out of the skin and that requires a touch up so you know things like that so i've just been using some a and d ointment on it um, i just have this little tiny package that my tattoo artist gave me the last time I got a tattoo which was my foot tattoo so that was the last time I got one of these little packets and I just kind of saved it and I've been using it on this tattoo I just use literally just a teeny teeny tiny bit so like that not much at all because it is a fairly small tattoo and I just rub it in really really good to make sure that it gets nice and moisturized because you don't want to put too much on especially when the tattoo is freshly done because you know the it could bleed ink and then, you know, you could lose ink. So yeah, you just don't want to do that. So I just keep it, you know, like that, just so it glossens a little and stays moisturized. So I just do that three to four times a day, depending on how dry it gets. And then when it comes to washing it, I'll just wash it with some antibacterial soap. I just keep this in my shower and just put a little bit on, dilute it with water and just kind of wash over it really quick to get any crud and, you know, peelies off, anything like that. I just like to do that just to keep it nice and clean. Then I'll get out of the shower and put some more A&D on. It. More than likely, just because I can already tell, I am going to need a touch up at least because you know it is on the hand and you do use your hands on a daily basis. So, a tattoo isn't always going to stay perfect, and a hand tattoo usually always requires touch up. So, after it peels, I'll see how it looks because a lot of people think right when you get a tattoo, that's how it looks, when that's not necessarily true because after it peels, that's what your tattoo actually looks like. So, I'll wait to see what it looks like after it peels. So far, it's so good like the little pieces that have peeled away um, it does look pretty good but we'll see what it looks like as the rest of it starts to peel but yeah I'm very very happy with that I absolutely love it this question is any future tattoos 
Absolutely. I have I have a ton of tattoos that I want to get. If you watched my future tattoos and piercings 2014, I said I wanted to get this one. I can cross this one off my list because I got it and I'm happy with it. I love it. Um, future tattoos, um, definitely I am going to be getting something either on my forearm or this arm because I am in the process of filling this up into a sleeve, full sleeve, whatever you want to call it. So I'm either going to get something on the inner part or the outer part. Haven't decided yet. And another question is future piercings. Absolutely, I have tons of piercings I want to get. Um, I want to get my ears. I want to get my fourth lobes done um, on both ears. I really want to get my... I cannot pronounce this. Can someone please... Am I saying this right? Da doth? Daith? I want to get my date doth pierced. You know what I mean? It's like this little inner part right here. And then I also want to get my rook done. So I do have a ton of ear piercings planned. I really want to get my left nipple done. Um, I did talk about that. And I really want to get that done this summer. Hopefully I can get it done, fingers crossed. My piercer just had twins. So she's probably going to be out for a while. Maybe, maybe. I've been kind of tossing this idea up in the air for a while. Uh, maybe my inverted belly button, but it's definitely not set in stone yet because my top belly button piercing was just absolute hell to get done and heal. So I don't know if I want to go through that again, but you know, we'll see as the time goes on. So those are all my plans and everything like that. And I would go and get them like right now, but our car broke down, so I'm kind of screwed as far as getting to my tattoo shop. So those are just going to have to wait. But yes, I do have plans for future ones. Hey everybody, so thank you so much for watching my video on my hand tattoo. Um, I really, really like this tattoo. It means a lot to me, and just like all my other tattoos do. And I'm really proud that I got it. I absolutely love it. If you guys enjoy my tattoo or enjoyed this video in general, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure to share, comment, subscribe. It would mean the world to me. But until then, I will see you guys very soon in my next video. Bye guys!